Now at 11, record-breaking numbers of ballots have already been cast across central Indiana for the 2020 general election. But with increased participation in the election, not only through in-person voting, but also by mail, it's possible there won't be a clear winner in the race for president on election night. WRTV's Cornelius Hawker talks to an early voter who hopes that doesn't make people reconsider casting their ballot. Ben Yoder is one of the thousands of people here in central Indiana who have voted early. I think that, uh, that, that making sure your voice is heard is important. Ben and a group of his friends voted early over the weekend, and he tells me it's a good way to get people involved in one of our country's fundamental rights. My group of friends decided to make a morning of it. I think spending time with your friends while you're waiting uh, is a great way to pass the time, and then you can get your, your civic duty done and feel good about it. In-person voter turnout has been high, and so too has the number of mail-in ballots that have been requested. That's led to headlines like this. People wondering if we'll know election results on the night of the election. All signs are pointing to no, and that's because of the different state laws regarding mail-in ballots, when they can be counted, and when they have to reach county election offices. Ben is hopeful that won't discourage people from voting. Regardless of whether we know the, the results in the election night, the important thing is that you know that you were able to put your voice into the mix. That's why he says it's good to figure out how you're going to vote so you can make sure your voice is heard in the November election. Just plan ahead. Make sure that, uh, that you realize that the lines may be a little bit longer, uh, but that sticking it out is totally worth it. Working for you, Cornelius Hawker, WRTV. And here are some key dates ahead of Election Day. If you want to vote by mail, you must request your ballot by October 22nd. But you are encouraged to do so as soon as possible. And new tonight, a federal appeals court has sided with the state of Indiana on the deadline to receive absentee ballots. That means election officials must receive your ballot by noon on Election Day.